What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I'm super excited to bring you guys some exclusive Battlefield 4 sniping gameplay. So, uh, earlier this week, myself and a bunch of other YouTubers were invited out to Los Angeles by EA to, uh, to play Battlefield 4 and Need for Speed Rivals a little bit early, and, and it was a lot of fun, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So I've got a couple of gameplay videos coming out over the next day or so that, that I hope you guys enjoy. But anyway, yeah, so we were playing on PC here. You did have the choice if you wanted to play with an Xbox controller, you could, but, but I wanted to man up, use a mouse and keyboard. As you guys know, I'm trying to get a little bit more into PC gaming to be able to bring you guys more content. So uh, that's what I was doing here. You know, I'm not the most proficient with a mouse and keyboard yet, but but I'm getting there. I wasn't doing too bad. So yeah, so uh, in this video, we're playing Conquest, which everybody knows Conquest, and we're playing it on Paracel Storm, which is one of the new maps in the game. And, and this map is heavily, heavily influenced by Levolution. So as you guys know, a lot of games that are going to be coming out in the near future are trying to do this interactive map type thing, where it can interact with you, you can change it, you know, it changes throughout the game and things like that. Call of Duty Ghost is doing it, there are a couple other games that are doing it, and Battlefield is doing it as well. And Battlefield's Levolution event on this map is is absolutely insane it's beautiful it's crazy it's you know it's just it's insanity and and I'm gonna have a video coming out about that later today so make sure you guys check back but uh, anyway yeah so uh, another thing that's heavily stressed on this map is is the naval combat so again this is Paracel Storm basically it's a cluster of islands and you kind of fight from island to island we're playing conquest so the different conquest points are on these different islands so I mean if you want to swim from island to island you can but that's really really slow and you're a sitting duck. So there's uh, there's PWCs which are like wave runners. There's an RHIB boat which is a dinghy boat with a gun on the front. There's an RCB boat which is a big like super heavily armored boat with a main gun on top and the two machine guns on the side. That's really really good. And and then there's also a couple of choppers. But I stayed away from those things because I can't fly those at all, especially not on a mouse and keyboard. But uh, yeah, so you know there's a lot of boat to boat fighting and boat to you know soldier fighting and then boat to air fighting. So it's just there's a lot going on as you guys know in Battlefield. That's what it's known for so so there's just never really a dull moment now a uh, kind of a little sneak peek of what can happen for the levolution or the interactive part of this map as you can see here a storm rolls in and there's super super tall waves that start coming through the ocean one thing that's really really cool in terms of like naval combat and just you know the ocean and everything in this map is all of those waves are the same on everybody's screen it's networked water which is really really impressive I've never seen a game do something like that before and as you guys know like when you're playing a game when you shoot something small like a, a tire on the map or you know a, a tree or something like that sometimes that doesn't happen on the enemy team screen or on your teammate screen or anything you know it's not you know all linked together because it takes a lot of you know GPU and processing power and things like that but in this game all of the waves are linked so the waves that you see are the waves that your enemy sees which is uh, which is crazy because you know that means you can use your waves as cover or when you jump over a wave or you know things like that like the enemies are still seeing that like it's just it's it's really really impressive and I, I can't get over that because it's just it's insane that there are gonna be 64 people on this map at one time and they're all gonna be seeing the same water which is 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 kind of a technological miracle but hey that's the kind of stuff we can have and look forward to now because of the next-gen consoles and the current hardware in them and things like that so it's 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 a really exciting time I mean this game is gonna be absolutely amazing this is the second time that I got my hands on it the first time was at E3 and and this time hyped me up even more for this game it's just it's so good I wish the video could do it justice for how good it looks but there's no way you'll ever be able to fully experience that when you're just watching a YouTube video it's absolutely amazing there's so many new guns and new vehicles and just uh, new game types I'm gonna have a video coming out about obliteration which is a new game type that's a ton of fun and it's just it's really exciting I'm really really looking forward to this game so and anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to check back for my other Battlefield 4 videos later today and tomorrow I'm gonna leave you guys with this last bit of sniping gameplay and, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out. We now control objective Delta. Spotted a hostile helicopter just west of your location.
sniper located just to your west. They got me boxed in over here! 